Hello and welcome to my animal cartoon drawing class. Today we're going to be doing the letter Y. And Y reminds me of you or youth or young people. And so I have a picture today that I'd like to share with you. This is a picture of Jesus and he's talking to the people. But like last time when we had the caterpillar and you added color and you turned it into a beautiful butterfly, I was wondering if you guys would like to turn this picture into a colored picture and I would like some kids in it because Jesus really loved the children. So on the count of three, I'd like you to just say, yay, all right, and we'll do it. Ready? One, two, three, yay. And let's see what happens. There they are, you guys, you did it. You're great. So are you ready to draw the animal that starts with the letter Y? Well then, get a paper, pencil, and an eraser, and let's get started. Okay, let's begin by putting a Y in the middle of your page, but a little bit more towards the top. Let's go like this, and down, and down. All right, at the bottom of your Y, Right at the bottom, I want you to do a half circle, just a small one, about that size. Now, I want you to take your Y and I want you to bring it out to about here. So we're adding about a finger's length and to about here, another finger length. Now, I would like you to draw another half circle starting about right here, down like that and up like that. Now we're gonna do another half circle. So I want you to put a dot right about here. See, it's a little more than half. And on the other side in the same spot, right straight across. Now I want to do a half circle coming down like this. Now I want you to match this to this line with a curved line to that point. And here, I want you to curve it out and match it. Now we're going to do some curvy zigzags. So we're gonna go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Great. Now from the middle, put a little dot and I put a little dot. We are going to do a half circle curve out like this. Same on this side. Now I want you to make a curved V like that. We're making ears. Now we're gonna go inside that line like that. Same over here, inside like that. Now we're gonna draw a line right here at the bottom and right here like that. Now we're gonna do some zigzags going across to here. So we're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Same thing over here to this point. We're gonna bring this down just a little bit. We're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Great. Now I want you to do an oval. So starting right here, we're gonna go out and up and all the way around to match right there. Now we're gonna do two little ovals, one here and one here. Okay, we're going to do some more zigzags. So how about from this line here to down here? Watch me and do what I do. So we're gonna zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, just like that. Same on this side from here. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Great. Now, I want you to put a dot about right there. It's kind of just down from here. We're going to do a curved line from here to there. Okay. Now we're going to do a zigzaggy line. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Like that. Now we're going to do another zigzaggy line right across from it. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Now we're going to draw a straight line to connect them. Like 
that. Now let's draw a little line going down and do a straight line like that. Now let's do an upward zigzag. Up, zig, zag, zig, zag. Great. Now from this point right here to about right here, straight across from this, go straight across, out here, put a dot. I want you to make a curvy line like this, up and around and match it. Okay, now I want another line going out right like that. Let's have a line right next to it, like that. Now we're going to do a bell shape with some zigzags. So we're gonna go out, zigzag, 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 and in. Great. Now, I want you to do some little bumpy lines. So follow along. This is gonna be all along the bottom here. So we're gonna go across and up, 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 Cross and up, cross and up, cross and up, and up and across. Great. Now we're going to do a couple zigzaggy lines like these. Let's do one here. Zig, 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 zig. Let's do another one next to it. Zig, 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 zig. And let's do one over here. Zig, 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 zig. Now let's draw a straight line across and a straight line across. Let's do some bells. A bell, and then this one, a bell the same direction, and then another bell going this way. Now on the bottom, I want you to just bring that in, and then on the bottom of this one, we're gonna do an up and over. Over here, we're gonna do a bell going out, and a bell going out. We're gonna go do this, and here we're just gonna have one bell, a little higher up, like this. Hey, we almost have it done. All we need to do is draw some lines. So we're gonna do a line right here, a slanted line, and a slanted line right there. Then we're gonna do a half circle going up, and a half circle going up. Little curvy line like that. A little curvy line like that. And let's put some eyes right there and right there. And a few more final things. Let's do a little zigzag here and a couple little zigzags like this, almost little W's. And from here to here, we're gonna draw a line and from here here, we're going to draw a line, and we're going to put a few little lines in here, like this. Yeah, you can just add a few more lines coming down like this. And what do we have? We have Yolanda the Yak. And Yolanda is enjoying herself out on the pasture with her friends. I noticed that today she's spending time with Mr. Squirrel. And you know what the squirrel is doing? He is talking to our yak. Yakety, yakety, yak. So in looking for a word of encouragement, I found this verse that has three Y's in it. And I think you're going to really like it. It says... Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. And that is a great verse because it reminds us that even as kids, even as children, you can do great things and God can really use you. You can touch your world with love. You can make a difference. And this is a way that you can do it. The verse goes on to say, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and purity. 1 Timothy 4.12 And so the ideas are in the way that you speak or the words that you use, 
the way you live your life, you can be a great example. The way you love others, the way you have faith or courage, and the way you live a pure life or do good things. These are some ways that as a young person, you can make a difference. So let's go over our verse again. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Well, I hope that is an encouragement to you today and that you will have a great week. And guess what? Next week, we do the letter Z, the last letter. I'm so excited and I hope you'll join me.